Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Look at what I got from the sketch team. Now it's a beautiful, beautiful sketch t-shirt. Thank you so much uh, for the support. Yeah, this is of course just a reference. I just want to say thank you by wearing this t-shirt in the tutorial. And we are directly diving into the first new sketch tutorial of this week. What we're going to do now today in this video is to create like a wireframe and UX concept of a walkthrough of a like onboarding uh, screen. Okay, we are going into Sketch directly and we are simply uh, creating a new artboard by hitting A on our keyboard and by selecting the iPhone 7 version. Of course, this time maybe we could also just go for an Android material design portrait uh, artboard because most of the time we are designing for iOS but of course we can also simply do this do the same for Android for the material design um, and we're just doing that. Uh, I would like to set it to the, to the just zero precision like that and we are simply going to create this onboarding UI as I said. The background color will be kind of a gray version of a blue so I'm going to pick a certain blue maybe around like this like that and what we're going to do now is to add some icons so as you know I have the material design icons and what I just found out is that I was linking a material design icon file in the video description and it somehow differs from this one and I can tell you why. Now this one is an old version of the linked material design icons but I also uploaded this one here to my Dropbox account so you can simply also uh, download this older version to just follow the tutorial in a better way. But if you, as I said, just want to have the latest version, just go to get the normal link. Both of them are linked down, everything is uh, explained in the video description. Okay, so what we are going to display is a menu button. Every app has this menu button somehow, so we are also adding it and I would like to place it at the top so I can use these icons to give it a rust to give it a rush precision just like that and what we also need is a like status bar and so on so we need a material design and we can simply open up our template our design template now let me just look out for the status bar which will be available on some different designs. So for example, we can pick it from this one, status bar and the nav bar. We need the nav bar, we need the status bar and app bar, just like that. And we also uh, already get the menu icon, so we can uh, actually get rid of that. So drag in everything onto our artboard and place it at the top just like that and the nav bar should be placed at the bottom there we have our basic design we can get rid of the menu icon so of course i would like to change something like the filling give it this fill that we already had and get rid of the shadows which will in the end mean we have to also change the color of our menu icon and also the settings. In this case it's called settings. Uh, and I would like to just give it a better fill. Oh, what we're going to do is of course to yeah just uh, detach it from symbol as I already did it and we are going to into the group to get the shape. We can also ungroup it to simply have the shape available. And after that we are also turning it white. We are doing the same with the status bar. So we are going to detach it from the group 
uh, detach from the symbol. Then we have a group. And then after that, we can also just change the filling to this one. And we have to do the same with this symbol. And in the end, yeah, all we have to do is to make sure that we have like a light version of them available. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we are simply changing the colors to white. So we have this one should be white. We have this one should, oops, this one should be white as well. And we have the battery which should also be white, just like that. That's fine, that's just what we wanted. And I'm going to call this one onboarding. So we have our basic structure. Of course, we could also say maybe we would like to display this in a light, like a little bit darker, just around like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Right now, after we've done all these things, oops which uh yeah we can crew up now this is like the top menu and this is the nav bar still fine now right now we are going to actually display the uh different cards on our onboarding now you know of course that onboarding requires somehow like this swipe animation to get through different uh different like cards or different um settings features and so on so we are simply going to create cards. Hit U to create a new rounded rectangle and position it in the center of your artboard, just like that. And we can even make it a little bit smaller. As I said, this should just be like a wireframe, maybe not the typical wireframe that you already know. I would like to add some colors as, as we already did. But in the end, I don't want to add any images add any content, I just would like to display uh, some of the like text in just a plain text layer and some colors. So no images, just a rough uh, wireframe. And so right now this is like the first card and I would like to create a new rectangle like at the top at about this position, which will be the content in which we are going to place an image. And we can give it a different color, maybe like this green one right here, like that. And to have it just view this uh, inner part, which is within these borders, we simply select our background card and say it should be a mask. Now this is like the header and this is the card background can even position it a little bit right more like this so we have some space available right here to add some text and images and to have some text available right here in this area okay so the next thing I would like to do is to just like place a symbol in this uh, in this in this like heading area, maybe we can just use this heart right here to just show the user show uh, not not the user maybe the PM or the developer or something or someone like that that there should be a photo later on or like an image. So maybe we can just place a heart in about this position. I guess this looks kind of cool to have it cut out a little bit. We can of course just go like this. This looks kind of cool. And we could also work with some shadows if you like that. Of course, that's something you should ask yourself. Do you like shadows? I mean, material design is really about shadows. So I guess we are fine working with them, but Maybe I'm going to just skip it for now. Um, in this bottom area right here, I would like to display a headline walkthrough, for example, just like that. Center it up and 
below this walkthrough, I would like to place some text. The text should be smaller and should be regular, just about like this. And we can even generate a fixed text uh, area. So we align it in the center and we can say it should be like around there. And right now, after we did this, I'm going back to use the craft plugin because it's helping me to get some text into this uh, app, into Sketch app basically. So we don't have to go to look for a certain lorem ipsum, like blind text or something like that. We can simply say we would like to get a article filled in with technology information. So just like that, you see that this is working quite fine. And just make sure to cut it just like that. And you see that's so simple, so fast, how we just created this text right here. Um, yeah, I think this is like really cool way to actually get new text and like just finish it up very quickly. So this is the first card and we are simply grouping it up and calling it card. The next card that we are going to create is to just, it's just like a copy which will be placed at the left side and I would like to make it a little bit smaller. So we basically also have some like size difference right there. So just like that, place it at the right side uh, at the left side. At the right side we will also do this of course and we simply change the color to this red version. Also make sure to do the same with your heart. We could also add a different shape. This is car number two and we're going to copy it and place it at the right side just like about that. And it should also have a different color, a different fill. You can add it blue or a like purple version. Purple looks also kind of cool. And of course, make sure that your heart has the same color, like also a purple one. And this is the card number three. Okay, so this is like the basic uh, onboarding card flow that we could also animate in principle, for example. But I would like to display some indicators. So most of the time, the indicators that I created were like different dots. And one of these dots had like a white color and the other ones had a darker color. So you really see on which card you're currently at. Um, but we could also just give the user some idea of the different steps that he is actually on. So for example, he's currently on step two and we change it to bold and make it a little bit bigger, just like that. He's currently on step two and then we copy it and we say off three. So just like that, you see that we now have like a step version instead of these indicator dots. And I would also like to just give it the same fill as the actual card that we created or that is currently in the center of the screen. So we are simply grouping it up and calling this steps or indicators, whatever, centering it and Boom, there is the final version of our onboarding design. This is, as I said, just like a wireframe. In the end, we should replace this walkthrough uh, like image or icon with something that is more representative for the actual step that you're on. The text should be changed, but to show it to developers and like product managers, this is a nice way to already get them some vision for the actual design to just help them to understand what you are doing 
and to just not give them like a rough sketch to have something available with colors and some like way that helps them to get some imagination of the final design and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks to sketch of course for this nice t-shirt and we are going to see us in the next video tutorial I think we just crossed the 20,000 subscribers. I'm super pumped about that. Maybe I'm going to make a special video about this as well. Because guys, I'm super thankful that you are supporting me so much. This is like a dream that's coming true to have 20,000 people watching my tutorials. I'm thankful for your support and I hope we see us in the next video tutorial. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Death Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at deathmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!